just want to say the world is full of comedians. We have a few here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Roll call. <laughs> Council Barton? Present. Present. Council Cahill? Present. Present. Council Capano? Present. Present. Council Chicutis? Present. Present. Council Colucci? Present. Present. Council Sear? Present. Present. Council Lapierre? Present. Present. Council Losey? Present. Present. Council Nett? Present. Present. Council Trahant? Yeah. Present. Present. Council Walsh? Present. Present. I'll rise for a moment of silence. Um, a moment of silence for the Yophilus family. I pledge of allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, and, America and, to and to the republic for which it stands, stands one nation, under, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Communications. We have one uh, appointment. Dear counselors, I am hereby appointing Harry Janus as the assistant harbor master effective immediately. His term will expire on December 31st, 2020. Sincerely, Mayor Judy Flanagan Kennedy. Approve. Make a motion approve. Yeah. Second. Second. Motion made, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearings. Public hearing petition of Rachel Bennett for Lightning Coffee Roasters located at 271 Western Ave, Suite 106, to offer retail sale of coffee beans and drinks on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All those wishing to speak in favor? All those wishing to speak in favor, please state your name and your address. Hi, my name is Rachel Bennett. I am the petitioner and owner of Lightning Coffee Roasters at 270. <clears throat> 271 Western Avenue, Suite 106. For those of you who aren't familiar with the location, we're located in the Lydia Pinkham Building, which is home to a diverse community of artisans, craftsmen, uh, fitness studios, and more. We're really excited to be moving in soon. Um, it's ideally zoned for light industrial use, which is perfect for coffee roasting. Uh, however, we'd like to be able to also sell retail uh, whole bean coffee as well as brewed coffee. And for this, I'm here before you today requesting a special permit for this. Um, I'd like to, I've spoken with Councillor Lossi about this, and I'd like to assure you that we're um, working closely with the Inspectional Services Department to make sure that we're up to food code and we can obtain the required food permitting for this use. Uh, thank you for your time and your consideration. I'm available if you have any additional questions. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Wishing to speak in favor? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Please state your name and your address. Hello, I'm Judith Bach. I live in the Boston Loft, um, Boston Machine Loft on 13 Willow Street here in Lynn, and I wanted to speak in favor of um, Lightning Coffee Roasters. Um, I am a student at the Clay School in the Lydia Pinkham Building, and I think it would be a great addition to the artist and small business community to have a coffee roaster and be able to buy freshly roasted beans in Lynn. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Anyone else? Seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed. Anyone in opposition? Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? Anyone wishing to speak in opposition? See, seeing none, that part of the hearing is closed. Council Alozzi. Um I've spoken with uh, Ms. Bennett regarding this, and I think it's a very good idea. I think it's a good way to uh, help promote as she pointed out, the artisans and retailers that are in that building. And uh, if you haven't visited there, I recommend that you go by. And if you love coffee now more than ever, you can go visit the Lydia Pinkham. So uh, with that, I'd like to make a motion to approve. Second. Second. Made, Second. seconded, discussion. I just want to say we need eight votes on this for approval, so. Motion made, seconded, roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chicutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Tahant? Yes. Yes. Council Walsh? Yes. Yes. Motions carries. Public hearings to be set down. We have the petition for a signed permit at Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen located at 180 Boston Street. 
Petition for a signed permanent pie and pint located at 23 Central Ave. Petition of Kula Camarinos to replace an existing two-car garage with a three-car garage at 84 Moulton Street. And the petition of Verizon to place approximately 150 feet of underground conduit from Verizon manhole number 98 located at the intersection with Greystone Park in a southerly direction to number 104 Ocean Street. So I should the council. Motion made. Check it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Ayes have it. Committee reports. Utilities committee. Council uh, Unanimous vote of the committee. Motion to accept. Second. Motion made. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Budget committee. Uh, Mr. President, unanimous uh, vote of the committee. Motion to accept. Second. Motion made. Seconded. All those in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. Ways and means. Unanimous Council of the committee. Motion to accept. Second. Motion made. Seconded. Roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Dacutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahant? Yes. Yes, Council Walsh. Yes. yes. Can I make an a motion emergency? for an emergency Ethan? also? Council President. Dr. Ethan, Ethan for the emergency. Uh, Attorney Lamar, do, do they have to be read for the emergency? Yes, Council Yes, okay, they have to be read. Motion made for emergency. Seconded. Please read. Uh, order that the City Comptroller be and hereby authorized to take the following action. Transfer the sum of $5,368.51 from the account of Lynn Police expense to Lynn Police to fund a prior year medical claims. Certify as an available fund the amount of $4,990.98 as allotted to the City of Lynn Police Department by Executive Office of Public Safety and Security for the FY17 Underage Alcohol Enforcement Grant. Certify as an available fund the amount of $19,500 as allotted to the City of Lynn Police Department by the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security for the FY17 STEP grant. Certify as an available fund the amount of $9,065.36 as allotted to the City of Lynn Police Department by the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security for the FY17 Traffic Enforcement grant. And finally, certify as an available fund the amount of $212,000.80 as allotted to the City of Lynn Office of Economic and Community Development by North Shore Workforce Investment Board for 2017 Youth Work Summer Jobs. Motion made on the emergency to approve. Seconded. Roll call. Uh, Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chacutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahant? Yes. Yes. Council Walsh? Yes. Public Safety, Council of Barton. Unanimous voter committee, motion to approve. Second. Motion made, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Public okay. properties. Oh, sorry. Oh, license. We have um, two Hold constables on. in the public safety. Uh, we need a roll call for John Ru Ruin of 32 Pine Street, Wakefield, Mass., and Paul Hearns, the second, 29 Fenton Ave. Motion Both made. approved. Motion made. Second. Seconded. Roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chacutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahant? Yes. Yes. Council Walsh? Yes. Yes. Public properties. Council Annette. Mr. President, uh, the committee voted unanimously to accept and make motion to approve. Motion made. Second. Seconded. Roll call. Okay, we have. Uh, I have to read these two. Roll or just call. The roll call? Okay. Okay, counts. That's an emergency. Roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chacutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahant? Yes. Yes. Council Walsh? Yes. Yes. 
committee. There's an emergency. Uh, I'm doing second. both. Or do we have to do one at a time? On the Wallace Street Redemption. Okay, so on the, the first one, please read it, and that's that's the one we're voting the emergency on. Okay, we have two for the emergency. Yeah, but you go on. We okay. can only do one at a time. <laughs> okay. The request to redeem property at 134 Walnut Street. <laughs> okay. Motion made for an emergency on that. Seconded. Second. Roll call. <laughs> Councilor Barton? Yes. Yes. Councilor Cahill? Yeah. Yes. Councilor Capana? Yes. Councilor Chicoutis? Yes. Councilor Colucci? Yes. Yes. Councilor Sear? Yes. Yes. Councilor Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Councilor Losey? Yes. Yes. Councilor Nett? Yes. Yes. Councilor Trahan? Yes. Yes. Councilor Walsh? Do we need yes. some water here or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. On the second emergency. Okay. On the second emergency. Second emergency. Ordered that the law department prepare all necessary documents granting easements to the city of Lynn for property located on Warren Place, abutting four Warren Place, eight Warren Place, and twelve Warren Place, pursuant to a plan of easement taken for roadway purposes over a way known as Warren Place prepared by Reed Land Surveyors 365 Chatham Street, Lynn, Mass., dated April 5th, 2017. Motion made on the emergency, <coughs> seconded, roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Cahill? Yes. Yes, Council Capano? Yes. Yes, Council Chicoutis? Yes. Yes, Council Colucci? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Yes, Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes, Council Losey? Yes. Yes, Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council yes. Trahant? Yes. Yes, and Council Walsh? Yes. Yes. Any new business? Licensing? Yep. Licensing. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I didn't see it on my uh, thing. You, you gave me. License committee, Council Walsh. Unanimous voter committee, motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All set? Yeah. Okay. New business. Uh, the, uh, set down a public hearing for a home rule petition regarding the transferring of custodial and maintenance employees to the school department. The wish of the council. So mm -hmm. Motion, Motion made, seconded, roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chicoutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahant? Yes. Yes. Council Walsh? Yes. Yes. And we have uh, new, under new business a discussion with CFO Peter Karen regarding a meal tax. Uh, before we get started, I just want to clarify that the um, council asked Mr. Karen to come before us tonight so that we could discuss the meal tax. Um, this is at the wish of the council, so if uh, Mr. Karen would take the podium, and if any of the councilors have any questions, uh, Council Barton. Yeah, uh, this is long overdue. Uh, we need a, the meal tax in this city <clears throat> in the worst way. Um, we're hurting financially, and um, this is going to bring in some uh, good revenue. Um, uh, Mr. Karen. Just for an example, um, say if I spent $100 in a restaurant, what would that add to my bill? 75 cents. 75 cents. So if I went to Brother's Deli and had breakfast and it cost me $10, what would that add to my bill? Eight cents. Yeah, so I think it's long overdue. And uh, what kind of money could this generate? Uh, based on uh, the available information on the Department of Revenue website, uh, I estimate it would be about $700,000 a year. And, and, and what would that um, entail for, uh, say, layoffs? Well, b based on what's been discussed so far between the administration and uh, some of the counselors and myself and the mayor, uh, we've made some good progress in terms of identifying uh, some areas where we can close the budget gap that currently exists. Uh, uh, I can't guarantee that this won't eliminate layoffs, but it will make it less likely at this point in time. It will more than likely save some jobs, if not eliminate the need for layoffs. Thank you. Council Walsh. Are you, are you familiar with the other cities and towns that have this? Do you, are you, do you know? Uh, I, I just uh, I looked this afternoon at uh, the Department of Revenue has all the cities and towns listed that have implemented it. 
the, 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 I would say the town, the only town, uh, Lynn is obviously the most significant town in either Middlesex County or in uh, Essex County that does not have a meal tax. In Essex County, the biggest town that doesn't have a meals tax is Marblehead. Most of the rest of them are places like Topsfield and Wenham and Groveland and places like that. All the cities have the meals <coughs> tax. In Middlesex County, all the cities have the meals tax. The, the, the largest town I was able to find that did not have it of any consequence was Coffington in Middlesex County. So pretty much everyone that has any kind of commercial tax base other than Lynn and maybe Marblehead and Hopkinton have a meals tax right now in either Eskis County or Middlesex County. Thank you. Uh, Council Lapierre. Uh, Mr. Karen, um, could you talk to us about the advantage of adopting such a meals tax now in, in terms of the fiscal year beginning on July 1 versus adopting it at a later time? Uh, the, the, uh, the Department of Revenue implements the meals tax on a quarterly basis. So if the council were to uh, approve the meals tax and uh, the mayor either approve it or if she were to veto it, the council override the veto, as long as that occurred before March 31st, uh, the, uh, excuse me, May 31st, the uh, meals tax would take effect for July 1st. If we, meet, if we miss the March, the May 31st deadline, it would not take effect till October 1st, so we would lose about 175000 in revenue for FY18. Uh, Thank you. Councilor Kaluch. Now, who would collect the taxes, Peter? The individual restaurants collect the taxes and turn it over to the state in addition to the regular state meals tax, and the state then reimburses the city as part of the quarterly, uh, probably the monthly uh, uh, local aid distribution. They, they make a payment monthly, so probably, you know, if they collect the money in December, we would probably get it at the end of uh, February or January. Thank you. Council up here. Uh, one follow-up too. Is there any way to earmark these new revenues to, as what Council Barton was talking about, perhaps you know, toward uh, saving or preserving public safety or uh, other city departments? Is there a way to sort of make sure uh, the money is going to the, the right space? The, the money is a general fund revenue, so uh, <laughs> I, I don't think you can do that other than as sort of a policy. I would defer to Attorney Lamana, but I think that's accurate. Council Barton. Uh, Council up here, I think we can recommend to the mayor that it be used for public safety. <coughs> Council Capano. Yeah, uh, I think we've discussed this at subcommittees, you know, at, at length. And, um, you know, for all the reasons that are brought up, 75 cents on a $100 bill, uh, it's notable the, the cities and towns that don't have a meals tax as compared to the ones that do. Uh, the, the ones that do, Peabody, Salem, the local towns, the cities and towns around here already have adopted this. The, w what I like about doing this is we, you know, we've been talking for a few months now about uh, the fiscal problems the city is facing. And as a city council, we're, we are limited as into what we can do. Um, and I think that a meals tax is one uh, positive step that we can take that would, uh, that would pr produce a significant amount of money that would help towards the budget shortfalls. So I think that, um, you know, I think we, sh you know, we should vote in favor of this. I, I, I want to say that I'm in favor of this, and, you know, I, th I think that if we vote for this and you know, if the mayor vetoes it and we override it, I think we could have an impact on this year's budget, not sometime in the future, I mean, right away. And we heard uh, testimony from the public safety officials uh, at the last meeting, the police chief, the fire chief, uh, Council Barton, as to the necessity for, for funding, you know, for, for our public safety in this city. And I, and I just think that uh, this is one thing that the council can do. And, you know, I think we should do that. Is that a motion? I'd like to make a motion if uh, we have finished with discussion at this time. Yep. Second. 
I'd like to make a motion. motion made, seconded, discussion. I'd like to read the motion. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'd like to make a motion ordered that pursuant to Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 4, Section 4, and Massachusetts General Laws Chapter 641, Section 2, the City of Lynn hereby accepts the statutory provisions for the acceptance of the local meal tax option to impose a sales tax upon the sale of restaurant meals originating from the City of Lynn by a vendor of a rate of 0.75% of the gross receipts of the vendor from the sale of restaurant meals. Second. Motion made, seconded, discussion. Council Lozzi. <clears throat> uh, thank you, Mr. President. I, um, I realize along with my colleagues the, um, the importance and the necessity to, for the city to find revenues, um, particularly our public safety. Uh, I'm not satisfied with the recommendation and I don't want to belabor this, but I, I just want to say I can't support it unless it's dedicated towards public safety. And what I've heard from legal is that it can't be designated that way. And uh, I, I'm torn, but I just can't support it at this time for that reason. Thank you. Thank you, Council Lozzi. Anyone else w w wishing to speak? Council Cahill. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I would just like to remind folks in the city of Lynn that um, we are already paying this tax. We pay this tax every time we go to Boston for a night out, whether we go to Route 1 in Saugus, whether we're in downtown Salem, whether we're in the malls of Danvers, the malls of Peabody, <coughs> the movie theater in Revere, or Market Street in Linfield, or a night out on the waterfront in Winthrop. We are paying, we are paying those communities' meals taxes every time we leave the four corners of the city of Lynn. Now, if you don't leave the four corners of the city of Lynn, then you know very well that we have some significant public safety issues that will not be remedied by not having enough police officers or firefighters on the street. So for those folks that think that we have somehow levied a tax upon the citizens of Lynn, you're mistaken. Every other community surrounding us has levied a tax upon us. We're just making it equal. So when folks come from their communities to our community to enjoy uh, a night out, whether you're going to go to the auditorium or whether you're here just to see one of our nice restaurants, it's, it's equitable and it's minimal in its impact. So this isn't a new tax on Lynn. We're just catching up with all the other communities around us. And we're making our community better for it. Now I do have concerns as to whether or not the mayor supports this. I think this is a very important issue for the mayor to address. I would like to see, although we are under significant time constraints, let me repeat that, we are under significant time constraints to implement this program in time to make sure that we can collect enough revenues to stave off some significant layoffs in our public safety departments. And I think Peter Karen would sit here and uh, acknowledge that. This isn't something that we've just concocted and decided to do on a whim. This is something we need to get in place for our next fiscal year because it is happening, uh, when I say it, financial issues are happening as we speak. But Mr. President, it is important to hear the voice of the mayor on this issue. It's important to have her come before us and uh, uh, give her opinion. I think we all welcome her opinion. We wanna hear her opinion. If this is something, that is contentious between the bodies, the mayor's office and the council, we need to know that. If this is something where this needs to be um, looked at further, where if the mayor decides to do an, uh, issue a veto and there has to be a discussion on a veto override, that is so important for, our, for our community to have that discussion. We should have it here, we should have it before the, the folks at home who wanna understand what's going on in the city and the city finances. Um, I would ask that um, if we could send a letter to the mayor asking her to come to a, a meeting uh, at your leisure, Mr. President, where you'd like to um, schedule that. I know we have a meeting May 30th, and it looks like timing-wise, we have to meet on the 30th to maybe address this issue again, but if the mayor has some real serious concerns about the implementation of this meals tax, I ask that she comes before us before then uh, and discuss that issue with us openly and honestly, and we'll work with her. Like we've always, always been willing to work with her. <coughs> so I, I fully support this. I've been paying this. I've been paying this for many, many years. 
I think it's time for folks to start paying it uh, from other communities and lend. I stand firm with my colleagues and yourself, Mr. President, and saying that this is important for our city. Thank you. Motion to death. Was that in the form of a motion to request the mayor come before the body? Well, I would say a friendly amendment. Motion, the 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 motion, motion to motion amend, yes. Do you want to amend it or? I would uh, include that as a, an amended, uh, friendly, amendment. a friendly amendment to the motion that we reach out to the mayor and ask her to uh, present to the body so that she have any issues with our actions here tonight. Okay, so motion is on the floor. For Peter Capano, and it's been seconded, so we would have to vote on that. But then, no, and, but I would suggest, unless uh, Mr. Capano wanted to uh, adopt my friendly amendment as part of his motion, I just Second, don't. I don't want the vote wrong. dependent on whether we have a meeting. You know, I'd like to do this right away so we meet the deadline. Um, you know, so we meet meet the May 31st uh, time time frame. So I would argue that. Um, it would not impact the implementation of the program, but it would extend an, op an opportunity for the mayor to come and discuss this matter so that she have any issues with it in the interim. Uh, my right, so if, if, I'm, if I'm understanding correctly, we're voting to approve the, adopt the uh, meals tax, but at the same time, for a stipulation, or um, you're, you're adding an amendment to ask the mayor to come before this body <coughs> at a future council meeting Next week, it would have to be a special Next week, Mr. President, unless there was no issue, then there's no need for further discussion, correct? But if there are issues in the mayor's office over this, I think she should come and talk to us directly. Uh, okay. Just for clarification, so would this vote be dependent on whether? No. No. Okay. So, all right. So we'd have to vote on Peter's yeah. motion first and then on Dan's. So is there any other discussion? Just a little clear. Clarification, Mr. President. Um, so, if Dan, if Councilor Capano is amenable to a friendly amendment, then the person who seconded would withdraw their second and allow Dan Cahill's uh, friendly amendment to Councilor Capano's original motion. Is that what you're? No, oh, no. We're voting on on. Peter's motion first, Councillor Capano's, and then on Councillor Cahill's. Council can bring that up as so, a separate, separate motion. motion. Okay, very good. So motion on the floor is Councillor Capano. Yep. Yeah. So is there any other discussion? I'm sorry. Hold on a minute. Just checking. Peter's first. Roll call. Councilor Barton. Yes. Yes. Councilor Cahill. Yes. Yes. Councilor Capano. Yes. Yes. Councilor Chacutis. Yes. Yes. Councilor Colucci. Yes. Yes. Councilor Sear. Yes. Yes. Councilor Lapierre. Yes. Yes. Councilor Losey. No. <coughs> no. Councilor Nett. Yes. Yes. Councilor Trahant. Yes. Yes. Councilor Walsh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, <coughs> Councilor Cahill has a motion to ask the mayor to come before us and to voice her opinion. I'll put that in the form of a motion of that. I make a motion that should the mayor have any reservations regarding the implementation of the meals tax, that she come before the council at her earliest convenience to discuss said matters, said um, concerns, I would say. Second. Okay, motion made, seconded, discussion. Roll call. Council Barton? Yes. Yes, Council Cahill? Yes. Yes, Council Capano? Yes. Yes, Council Kudas? Yes. Yes, Council Colucci? Yes. Yes, Council Sear? Yes. Yes, Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes, Council Losey? Yes. Yes, Council Nett? Yes. Yes, Council Trahant? Yes. Yes, Council Walsh? Yes. yes. Councilor Capano. I'd like to place an emergency on the motion. I'll second that motion. Second. Right. Right. Emergency on, the, on both motions, correct? Yes. Okay. Motion made, seconded. Roll call. Council Barton. Yes. Yes. Council Cahill. Yes. Yes. Council Capano. Yes. Yes. Council Chacutis. 
Yes. Council Colucci. Yes. Yes. Council Sear. Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre. Yes. Yes. Council Losey. No. No. Council Nett. Yes. Yes. Council Trahan. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> Council Walsh. Yes. Yes. I have to do this one separate. Emergency on the. Um, no, that was on vote. No, because we don't have a second vote. Okay, we'll do an emergency on the second one, too. Okay. <clears throat> Council Barton? Yes. Yes. Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chacutis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Sear? Yes. Yes. Council Lapierre? Yes. Yes. Council Losey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahant? Yes. Yes. Council Walsh? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, Members of the council will indulge me for a minute. I can't tell you how proud I am of all of you tonight. We don't often, as a council body, get a chance to make a difference, especially in an election year. No politician likes to use the word tax for fear of not being elected or whatever the reason may be, but our jobs as council is, is to protect the citizens of Lynn. And hopefully with the recommendations that were made here tonight in this mail stacks, that the mail will see it our way, our way and use that money for public safety so that we can keep our firefighters and keep our police officers on the street and keep our citizens safe. Our job is simple. It's to provide the best services we can for the public and keep our workers working in City Hall. So I just want to say thank you to all of you tonight. I think it took a lot of balls for what everybody did here. So I just want to say good job. So what's the wish of the council? Mr. President, uh, I'd like um, to congratulate Darren Sear and Jay Walls for being inducted into the Lintac Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'll give the same speech I gave that night. Thank you. Councilor <laughs> um, I do have a piece of new business, Mr. President, and I think um, uh, I feel that a couple of constituent uh, calls over the last several days on the Lynn Water and Sewer, I know we have representatives, Councilor Colucci, Councilor Capano, on that commission. Um, I would like to request that they take back to the um, commission um, when the hydrants are being flushed in various areas of the city, that notification goes out. Currently, I believe an item ad is taken out, but with all due respect to reporter Grillo, not everyone reads the paper. Um, I think uh, if, if, our, if my colleagues could take back um, sort of advertising or promoting various different media outlets, whether it, it's Lynn Community Television or through social media or on their website to get the word out a little more on the hydrant flushing. Couple of instances where uh, homeowners um, are experiencing rust in their laundry as a result and they're unable to get their laundered laundry clean um, and rewashed. And there was one instance of uh, a youngster, a toddler, having a bath drawn in the evening and rusty water, of course. So it's unpredictable. If you don't read the paper, you may not know that your neighborhood is exhibiting and experiencing flushing hydrants. But um, I would just um, you know, put that in a friendly request to my colleagues to take back to the Water and Sewer Commission. Thank you. And I would just add to that that I also yes. received some phone calls of uh, not doing major arteries during um, rush hour that they were flushing out some major roads during the rush hour peaks and that it caused some significant backups. Council oh, so Capano. No, we'll, we'll, we'll take that back, but I just want to remind any of the counselors here, just like anybody else, sometimes if there's something happening right away, it's, it's not uh, necessary to have to wait till a council meeting could call any time. Uh, this you know, was just there's so many calls, you just call right away. We'll, we'll call right away. It's not necessary to wait for the council meeting to, to, to let us know. Just, you know, a simple phone call right away, we'll get right on it. Thank you. I also want to say, Great. for a point of information, that uh, they, they don't stop flushing the hydrants till after 6.30 <laughs> at night. Um, in some instances, and I saw down on the Linway where they had some hydrants open during rush hours, Councilor Cahill said it didn't have really anything to do with 
the flushing of the hydrants, they were trying to relieve some pressure out of uh, some of the lines down there where they were doing some work. That's but right. um, I know there's always somebody on duty down there um, till 11.30, I believe, at night right, right. on the emergency line. And uh, as Council Capano said, they're uh, very receptive to us. That's right. So yep. any other discussion, any other new business? Which of the council? Council adjourn. Fucci, motion made to adjourn. Seconded. Uh, we'll do that, all right? And no Thank one's you, getting council. this.